Hi, so this particular playlist is all about answers to tough questions and the whole idea is that I'm going to post the question. Um, if you pause the video, have a go at the solution and then the answer will be given in the final part of the video. I hope it's useful to you and please do add a comment, like, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next videos. Okay, so with this particular question, it would be relatively straightforward if we knew what the multiplier was. And that's actually what this question is asking. Because if the interest rate, let's say, had been 5%, then this multiplier would have been 1.05. And we would have simply put this into the equation and said, well, the original is 2,500. And if it had been 5%, it would have been 1.05 squared and if we'd put that into our calculator it would have worked out that that particular value came out at uh, something like 275625 so actually it's not 5% in this question now if you're not particularly sure about where I've got that from if you refer to the previous video and I will put a link on the screen if you refer through to the previous video that will give you how we've used this formula the difficulty with the question is we don't know what the multiplier is and instead what we're going to do is we're just going to use X what we're going to say in terms of the question is that we have to make this equation balance so what we're saying is 2704 must equal the original value which we know is 2500 the multiply we don't know so I'm just going to call it X and I'm going to say that's squared okay because we know that it's two years okay and then it's really just a case of using algebra to be able to get our value of X so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this 2500 and because it's multiplying I'm going to divide by both sides by 2,500. If I divide this side by 2,500 and this side by 2,500 it allows me then to lose this. So on this side, on the right hand side, I've now just got x on its own. So that would, or rather x squared on its own. On this side, 2,704 divided by 2,500 is one point. 0816 and that represents the value of 8 squared. Okay, so to get the value of x on its own, sorry, x squared. So to get x on its own, what I'm going to do is I'm going to square root both sides. And if I square root both sides, I've got x squared and square rooted would be x, and then this square rooted very handily is 1.04. Brilliant. So what it means is, is that that 1.04 is the missing bit that goes into this formula, which tells me that the interest rate in order to answer this question would be 4%. So let's just check that. If I uh, put this into a calculator, 2,500 times 1.04 squared, and if I put that into a calculator, I get 2704 which is exactly what it's asked me so I can say here therefore the interest was 4%. Um, I hope that's been okay for you thanks very much for the question I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.